leave Monte Carlo, we can't forget the Star of the Rally Award. At each event this season, Nikki Griss will choose a driver, co-driver, or team member who has contributed the most during the weekend. And of course, the winner of Monte Carlo has to be Sebastian Loeb, who drove brilliantly throughout. As well as a trophy, he receives a check for 5,000 bucks to give to a charity of his choice. Now for the winner of the Inmarsat Star of the Rally Award. With a lackluster 2002 season and miserable Monte Carlo behind him, Sweden has been a different story for Tommy Mackinnon. After a slow start, he secured second place early on and held it with ease throughout. Consistently in the top two positions on stage times, Tommy has really enjoyed himself this weekend. Look out, old Mac is back. The Inmarsat Star of the Rally in Sweden, 2003. Very proud of it. It's, it's very nice. It's not one of their team members who's been chosen as the Inmarsat Star of the Rally by Nikki Grist. It was a difficult decision with so many people stepping up during the event, but the performance of Francois Duval's new co-driver, Stefan Bravo, with a new team and on an exceptionally tough rally, left no doubt that he should be the winner. Before we go today, we can't forget the winner, the Inmarsat Star of the Rally Award, chosen, of course, by Nikki Grist. With a hat trick of stage wins, the brand new and radical Ford Focus WRC03 has been a revelation in the hands of Marco Martin. A few teething problems were to be expected, but the performance during the event indicates a great season ahead for the car and team. Therefore, the award for New Zealand goes to Christian Lorio, technical director of Ford Rally Sport, and his team of engineers who accept the trophy and a check for $5,000 to give to their favorite charity. Well done to you, all, to you all at Dovenby Hall. Any way you look at it, there's no denying Marcus Grunholm has been great this weekend. And that's why he's Nicky Gris in Marsat's Star of the Rally. After easily leading on the first day, then losing 1 minute 44 seconds and dropping to sixth after hitting a rock, Marcus drove brilliantly to take back the lead win the rally and set a stage record along the way. Here Marcus happily accepts the award from Nikki, his champagne and a check for 5,000 bucks to give to his favorite charity. Well, after driving brilliantly to take his and the new Ford Focus's maiden WRC victory, Marco happily accepts the award from Nikki Grist. Marco will get a check for $5,000 to give to his favorite charity. Well done. Well now the star of the rally is chosen by Nikki Grist. Having survived the most torturous WRC event this year, Harry Roven Perra finished second in Keep Peugeot, the top of manufacturer's battle, but it was all thanks to Emily Lafour, Harry's engineer, who did a brilliant job to keep the Peugeot on track. Emily gets the award in $5,000 to give to her favorite charity. With more on the weekend, here's Penny and Nikki. The Marsat Star of the Rally Award in Germany goes to Marco Martin. He was quickest on 10 of the event's 22 stages, and his drive to come back from 10th to 3rd on Saturday was inspired. Marco decided to share his victory with his co-driver Michael Park and his gravel entire crews for the help over the weekend. Marco gets $5,000 to give to the charity of his choice. Chris in Marsat, star of the Rally Award, goes to better Hollywood Solberg for his final stage heroics. He paced himself early, but when a small chance of glory appeared, he pushed himself, risking everything, and it paid off as he took second place. Thank you very much. we go, however, we can't forget it was tough on Tony Gardemeister as to whether or not he would even run the Rally Australia with a broken wrist. But the Finn, having driven with one hand, has battled through and given a brave performance to finish 11th overall. That's why he's Nicky Gris in Marsat, star of the Rally. Well done, Tony. Now to Nicky 
Andy Gris in Marsant star of the rally this week, and it goes to Carlos Sainz. Just days ago, the Spaniard had a kidney operation, hardly the ideal preparation for a punishing tarmac event, but he coped brilliantly to finish fourth and kept his championship hopes alive. Well done, Carlos. Unless you can drink when you want. When you The Subaru mechanics had their own celebrations. After Petter Solberg's crash and shakedown, they had to work through the night to completely rebuild the car, and then at the very first rally service, they had to change his gearbox. Without them, Petter would be back in Norway, and that's why they received the Immersart Star of the Rally Award from Nicky Griff. Let's not forget the Inmarsat Star of the Rally Award. Even in the toughest of conditions, Shilpanitsi showed his fantastic tarmac skills to snatch a dramatic win. It's his first victory of the season, but it couldn't have come at a better time and have a bigger impact. By overtaking the Citroen of Sebastian Loeb, he's ensured that the fight for both the drivers and manufacturers' titles will go down to the wire. Just to emphasize that this is a team sport, the Inmarsat star of the rally goes to old Golden Boots, Tommy Mackinnon. Even though he's been in a desperate battle for a podium finish on his last ever rally, yesterday he went out of his way to help Solberg. Tommy used wet weather tires to test their effectiveness in the Welsh Forest, just in case Petter needed them. Some bubbly, I'm sure you'll be drinking a lot more than just one bottle. Well, I think I, 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 I think I give it, uh, give, give half a bottle of it for, for Petter today. Now for the season's first in Marsat star of the Rally Award, and it goes to the 23-year-old Belgian Francois Duval. With a formidable and resilient display under extreme conditions, he equals his best ever WRC finish. And more cause for celebration at Citroen, with Lowe being chosen as the Inmarsat star of the rally. Co-driver Daniel Elner sharing the spoils. No at the contenders for this one, as Lowe creates a little piece of history, illuminating Sweden with his driving skills. The new events and new regulations, and the rally organizers have risked the challenge to make Rally Mexico a big success. And that's why they were chosen as the Inmarsat star of the rally. Well done. Thank you. And Thank the you. final accolade of the weekend for his first winning defense of his rally. The Solberg is the Inmarsat star of the rally. The Inmarsat star of the rally award goes to Michelle Nandan, Peugeot's chief engineer, for solving the power steering problems that plagued them in the season's opening rallies. With so many corners in the Cypress stages, it was vital that power steering performed. The Inmarsat Star well of the Rally Award Fantastic. in Greece goes to one of the sport's rising stars, Daniel Carlson. He finished fifth, even though he was driving the old Peugeot 206, and without the back of a poor works team in such a tough event. Something to make Marcus feel better, his co-driver Timo Rautiainen is the Inmarsat Star of the Rally. His reward for continuing after the most painful moments of the yeah, rally. Oh, that's beast. Oh, you... oh. Oh. When a metal rod which his car flicked up off the road pierced the bottom of the car and his seat. <laughs> okay, now, now we can laugh, but it, I was happy to survive. for Carlos Sainz. His achievements this weekend mean he was the only choice as the Inmarsat star of the rally. 13 years separate his first win in Argentina from this one, and it was 14 years ago that he became the first non Scandinavian to win the rally. Skoda also got in on the prizes this weekend, with Yanni Parsonen chosen as the Inmarsat star of the rally for his sixth place finish in what was his first drive in the Fabia. Loeb's success this year has been built on the reliability of his Citroen Zara, and that's why the Inmarsat Star of the Rally Award goes to his team. Claude Satinay, Managing Director of Automobile Citroen, here collecting the award. Great action.
action, great organization. That's why the Inmarsat Star of the Rally Award goes to the team that made Rally Japan happen. Kenichiro Kojima, President of the Organizing Committee, here accepting the award. Inmarsat Star of the Rally Award goes to Ford, who's now scored manufacturer's points for 40 consecutive rallies. A level of consistency stretching back nearly three years, which no other team can match. The Inmarsat Stars of the Rally are Peter Solberg and co-driver Phil Mills for winning three consecutive events. It's the first time anyone's completed a hat-trick of victories since Colin McRae in 2001. Citroen are champions for the second year running. And in recognition of these achievements, the Inmarsat Star of the Rally Award goes to Team Boss Guy Frecolan. This is a day that will live long in his memory. Relative newcomer to the WRC already making his mark is Stefan Sarazan. He wins the Inmarsat Star of the Rally Award for finishing fourth in only his third event. Rally Australia is also the final round of the Production World Rally Championship for drivers in lower specification cars. Alex de McRae had the title in his pocket until his rear differential fell with less than four stages to go. That handed the crown to Northern Ireland's Niall McShay. His budget is so small he couldn't even afford to compete here without financial support from his friends. A fantastic achievement that also won him the Inmarsat Star of the Rally Award. And it's Gardemeister who wins the Star of the Rally Award for his best ever finish in a WRC event, beating the third place he achieved in New Zealand in 1999.